Good evening and welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm glad you are joining me this evening. I went to Lowe's today and I made some scores and I thought I'm gonna do a quick video here to show you what I got. Um, so let me turn the camera around and we will look at, I found two things, one of which I have been coveting for a while, so I finally got it. And the other thing was on the clearance rack, was a super good deal. So, and I've actually been wanting one of these for a while too. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what we got today. Okay, here we are. So we'll start right here. I got a hellebore or a Lenten rose. Look at this thing. I have been coveting hellebores for a long time. I mean, how awesome is this thing? Let's get in here and look at the tag. So this is a Penny's Pink Lenten Rose. There are many different varieties and colors of Lenten Rose. Um, this is just one of them, but I mean, Look at how awesome this thing is, how pretty. And we'll look at the tag here, sorry. So you can see it's average size, it's spacing. You can pause here if you wanna read more. So Linton Rose is one of the very first perennials that bloom each year. Um, they're naturally blooming right now. They are perennial, they come back year after year. Um, and this guy I actually have a special project for. He's gonna go in my chair planter, uh, but my chair planter needs a little bit of work. So we're gonna do another video on putting this together later. And then the bromeliad. I love bromeliads. They tend to be rather expensive. Um, I've had them before, but I haven't bought any lately. And this is actually a trio. So there are three, each flower represents a plant. There are three plants in this pot. Um, and this is normally a $40 pot of plants here. And I got it on the clearance rack for $16 because somebody dropped it and broke the pot. <laughs> Well, I'll take that because guess what? Um, I've mentioned before the other uh, at another video where I did a, a, a video about pots and stuff that I like to shop at a store called Ollie's. Well, I was at Ollie's the other day and I found this pot. So my bromeliad is going to go into this pot. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna get this potted up, put some fresh dirt around it, and then I'll come right back. All right, so I've got my pot. And I'm putting in a drain it plug, and I'll talk about these in just a minute. But this goes in the bottom. do not have large root systems. Um, they are naturally found in tropical rainforest. They will naturally grow on the side of trees um, and in other places where they don't put out huge roots. So uh, they're, they tend to be a little loose. And so this being a trio, I'm gonna get in here and I'm really gonna pack the soil around each root ball to give it as much stability as I can. Potted up, everything's stable. Um, I've got some pruners here. 
Now's a good time to get in and groom the plant. So I'm gonna come in, there are a few, this one just fell off. So there's a few dead, dried up, brown leaves. Um, you don't want to try to just yank the leaves off of a plant like this because it has a shallow root system. It's not supported very much. If you just try to yank leaves, you're just gonna pull the whole thing apart. This is more of a delicate, take your time, trim it off kind of project. So I'm gonna get in here and get this thing groomed up. Let me clean up my mess here and grab the camera and I'll come back and show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so I have moved inside and here it is. There's just better lighting in here. It's getting dark outside. Now this plant is not going to live its life on the middle of the kitchen table, but this is just a good place to put it so you can see. I mean, how pretty is this? You know, it's that time of year where just any greenery, any plants, any putting your hands in the dirt, it's just so good. It's so good to do. It makes you feel better. At least it does for me. Um, I'm just longing for those spring days to finally hit where we can get out in the yard and work in the garden. But until then, stuff like this will make it better. Um, I did want to point out the thing I put in the bottom of this pot. These are called drainets. They come in different sizes. Um, and if you can see, I got these at Ollie's as well. You can find them at, at most, a lot of stores. I happened to find them at Ollie's. They were a good price, 99 cents for the little ones, $1.49 for the medium, and $1.99 for the big ones. What do these, so do? What does these go in the bottom of pots and it helps prevent root rot. It does not contain heavy gravel, so it keeps your pot light. They're, all, they're reusable. Um, and basically, it just creates a barrier at the bottom of the pot that allows water. There's little, you can see them in there in the picture. It's like little balls. There's little things, and plasticky things inside this pouch. Um, and so it prevents anything from coming up through the drain hole of the pot but allowing the water to go out of the pot without letting your soil go out of the pot. So those are really handy things to use. And do you need these? No, absolutely not. You can use mesh or um, cheesecloth or uh, real rocks, if you don't mind the, the heavy weight of putting gravel in the bottom of your pot, whatever it takes to kind of prevent a drain hole. Because of this pot right here, I mean, it had a pretty good sized drain hole in the bottom. Well, you know, as, as you water and as time goes on, it's just gonna wash out. The dirt, the soil's gonna start washing out. And if I set this pot out in the yard, it's gonna allow bugs and critters to crawl up through, and I don't want that. So this is just a good, easy thing to throw in the pot without having to create something of my own. So how do I care for a bromeliad? Well, like I mentioned a second ago, they are uh, tropical plants. So it is gonna be an indoor house plant for me. Um, in the heat of the summer, I will be able to move it outside so it can enjoy the sunlight and the heat. But um, since it is from a rainforest, I've got a spray bottle and it, give it a mist. They just like to be misted off. And then the other unique thing about bromeliads is that, let me see if I can get in here and show you. The leaves, and the flowers all come from a central crown. They enjoy being watered in that crown. So I'm going to try to pour some water just right down in there. Um, those leaves and all come up off that crown and they form a bowl at the bottom. I'm gonna put water into the crown of that plant and it's going to naturally direct that water down into its root system. I'm not actually gonna water this dirt or get a lot of water put in there because I don't wanna create a root rot situation. I don't wanna overwater these. You have to remember in a tropical rainforest, it gets watered every day by the rain, it's high moisture, but that water immediately drains off. 
So this is a plant that likes to be wet, but does not like to be drowning, okay? So that's it, it's pretty easy outside of that. A bright sunny window in the house, water it occasionally as needed, mist it occasionally. But I think that's it for now. Um, like I said, I just wanted to show you the score. I mean, $16 for three bromeliads just because the pot was busted is a crazy good deal. And then that Lenten rose, and I'm excited to show you what I do with that Lenten rose um, here in the next, a little bit of time. Um, I'll probably have a video out about that here in the next few days, hopefully. Um, just depends on the weather. We are, like most of you um, here in Arkansas, we are just bombarded with rain. Um, and there's more rain coming, so my chair planter needs to be painted. Um, before I go put a fresh plant into the pot, I need to deconstruct it, get the chair painted, and then put everything back together. So that it's going to be a project that's going to require a pretty day. But for, for now, I think that's all I've got for you. I'm, like I said, I'm glad you tuned in and watched this today. I hope you learned something. Maybe this inspired you to get out and try bromeliad or go buy Linton Rose. They're awesome. I'm telling you now, they're awesome. Try them. If you have a spot in your yard, um, try them. And that, my rose of, my Linton rose, excuse me, my Linton rose will eventually go out into the yard. Um, I'm putting it in the pot that it's going in temporarily, but we'll talk about all that in that video. So if you liked this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And you can ring that bell and it'll tell you every time I post a new video. So until next time, from my garden to yours, happy gardening.